Welcome to pre-math. In this video lesson, we have got this equation x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0 where x belongs to complex numbers and now we are going to find the value of x power 77 plus x power 76 plus x power 75 plus x power 74 and plus x power 73. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And we are interested in finding the value of this big long polynomial whose highest power is 77. So we are going to consider a couple of scenarios. And here's our very first scenario. Let's focus on this quadratic equation over here. We are going to solve for x. And for that reason, we are going to use this quadratic formula. And now, in this quadratic equation, our a is 1, b is 1, and finally, c is 1 as well. So let's go ahead and solve for x by plugging in this a, b, and c values in this given quadratic formula. So x is going to be minus b means negative 1 plus or minus this is going to become b square means 1 square minus 4 times a is 1 c is 1 as well divided by 2 times 1 or simply this could be written as negative 1 plus or minus square root of negative 3 divided by 2 and we know that this is going to become an imaginary number where i is a square root of negative 1. So therefore x is going to be equal to negative 1 plus or minus i times square root of 3 divided by 2. Now we can find the value of this given polynomial if we replace these x values by this uh, negative 1 plus or minus uh, i times square root of 3 divided by 2. However, this process is going to be extremely hectic. Therefore, we are going to avoid this approach. So therefore, we are going to be a little creative and we're going to think outside the box. And let's focus on this polynomial. And here I have copied it down as you can see and now we can see that uh, we can factor out x power 73. So let's go ahead and uh, factor out x power 73 that is in common. So that is going to give us x power 4 plus uh, x power 3 plus uh, x power 2 plus x and then plus simply 1. But then we know that this x square plus x plus 1 from here, this is equal to 0. So therefore, I'm going to replace this one by 0. So therefore, we can write this one as x power 73 plus x power 4 plus x power 3. And this whole thing turns out to be 0. And now this could be written as x power 73 times uh, in parentheses x power 4 plus x power 3. And now inside the parentheses we can see that uh, we can factor out x power 3 from here. So therefore we can write this one x power 73 outside. And then in this bracket uh, I can factor out x power 3. And inside the parentheses is going to be x plus uh, 1 and that bracket closed. Now let's go ahead and multiply x power 73 and x power 3 by using this product rule. So therefore this could be written as x power 73 plus 3 is going to become x power 76 times x plus 1. And now we know that x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0 from our this given equation. Now let's go ahead and move this x square on the right hand side. So this could be written as x plus 1 equal to negative x square. Now let's revert our attention back to our this given problem. 
x plus 1 here I am going to replace it by this uh, negative x square so this I am going to replace it by negative x square so this could be written as x power 76 already there and this is negative x square and now let's go ahead and multiply these x power 76 and x power 2 by using this uh, product rule once again now before we go any further let's recall this famous formula a cube minus b cube equals to a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square and if i replace a by x and then b by 1 so this formula is going to become x cube minus 1 cube is same as 1 equal to x minus 1 time x square plus 1x is same as x plus 1 square is going to become 1 but then we know that this x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 from this equation so x cube minus 1 equal to x minus 1 times 0 so which means that x cube minus 1 equal to 0 now let's go ahead and drag this negative 1 on the right hand side so that means our x power 3 value turns out to be positive 1 now let's revert our attention back to our original problem over here we have x power 78 let's focus on that one and this can be written as a negative outside x power 3 and then power 26 by using this uh, power rule but then we know that x power 3 we already figured out x power 3 equals to 1 so i'm going to replace this x power 3 by 1 so therefore this could be written as a negative outside i'm going to replace this one by 1 power 26 and now let's focus on this 1 power 26 and always remember 1 power anything equals to 1 so therefore we can write this one equals to negative 1 and that is our answer so thus we have concluded that this whole expression x power 77 plus x power 76 plus x power 74 5 plus x power 74 plus x power 73 turns out to be equal to negative 1. So thus our simplified answer turns out to be negative 1. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.